Pansy, who once held the record for the winningest, most winningest rider in the Tour Series, must be must caught up a little bit on Moldy last year. I think so. Yeah, I think I'm only one behind him now. So yeah. who knows? After today, we could be matching. Um, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. It's uh, how many rounds this this seven rounds. seven rounds. So there's plenty of time to do him over by the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Redditch, I know you've won a lot of races in the Tour Series at different rounds. I think yeah. Redditch still eludes you. How do you yeah. find it? it for me personally, it's borderline. It's like, it's like one of those races that can go either way. You know, if it's an absolute tear up, mm. then it's the racing's on. Uh, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's a sort of circuit I can quite easily lose a lap or two. Um, <laughs> however, if, if it's a soft race, uh, and it has been here in the past, it's funny. I remember riding around here once with Tobin Orton, and we just like looked at each other and just like, why is this like? Um, strangely easy yeah uh, if it's a cagey race you can sit in there quite comfy mm -hmm. and i have won the bunch sprint um on this circuit a couple of times but yeah. there's always been uh i don't know a small group away so we've yeah. never taken the win but who knows so really just one of the toughest circuits on the tour series uh, I mean, maybe you, you know you not, not as tough as durham it's but. not half as tough as durham that's for sure <laughs> it, it is a tough one yeah mm. um it, again it's just funny so it just depends how it's raced you know if it's on from start to finish and it's full of attacks it's tricky and mm. you can quite easily get a good uh, kick yeah. in yeah. but that said hopefully there's a lot of dead bodies from tour of yorkshire so it's a steady race and <laughs> <laughs> who knows if it comes to a bit of a bunch sprint which is unlikely but um, stranger yeah. things have happened what are, your, what are your favourite memories of the Tour Series? Because you've been doing this since the since the first year. I don't know, I've had loads of good memories to be fair. Um, there's a lot of uh, similarities with Team Pursuit really. There's a lot mm. of like, camaraderie and teamwork and um, you know, we're going to have to have a sit down on the bus in the, in the very near future to be honest and like, I've discussed how we're going to go about it this year. Yeah. You know, whether we're going to go for individual rounds because um, we've got some like you know, useful riders for individual like myself on like the flatter days and mm. Scott on the hilly days or whatever. But it's um, mm. you know we're going to go for it overall. We're going to try and go for individuals. Are we going to try and um, mm. spread the love of it? I don't know. So uh, yeah. I need to sit down and have a think. But yeah, in terms of my favourite memories, because you've been had loads, absolutely loads. I know you've you've won so many at Aberystwyth, for example. That that for me stands out. You you were you were quite a winning rider there. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what other rounds. I mean, you won at Salisbury last year. That was a good one, yeah. yeah. Salisbury was good. Like, the crowds are amazing. Mm. I don't know, it was just a nice weekend. We were down there, and like there was no pressure on JLT for the overall, so we kind of we were there. And it was I just got in the, the, the front part of the race and followed uh, the Tanfield brothers around again, and then <laughs> yeah, wait for a sprint. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I, it, there's a lot of memories from the past, and you know, even back to uh, sort of the Team Halford's days, riding with Wilco and Rob Hales and things yeah. like that. It was, um, that would definitely have been a laugh. Yeah, yeah, it was a laugh. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Yeah, and Bibby as well. You know, there's yeah. a lot of characters in that team. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what do we not see on TV that goes on? The tour series. There's an awful lot of travelling for a start. There's a lot mm. of time hanging around at the start before the race. Mm. Um, I guess by nature you've got to be in the circuit and ready to go for hours in advance. Yeah, an awful lot of travelling. It's hard work. You know, people say, yeah. "Oh, you're only racing an hour for two or three times a week," but yeah. it's hard. Work. The racing is really quite difficult. You get back after a finish, and you're usually wide awake till um, in the early hours of the morning. Like sometimes yeah. I've been awake till four four a.m. Sometimes. It's hard to get rid of that series. adrenaline, isn't it? very hard when you're full of caffeine and adrenaline and <laughs> you know if you have like um, I think it's more adrenaline than caffeine to be honest if you yeah. have like quite a punchy race and your emotions are high either because you've done particularly well or you're particularly disappointed I just don't sleep mm -hmm. and um, if you've had a, a pretty um, I don't know a, a race with no particular highs or lows and I could quite happily drop to bed at half 11 <laughs> it's, it's the traveling that makes it difficult yeah. and um, it's funny how um, so some riders will sort of start the tour series in pretty average condition and at the end of the tour series they're still in a pretty average condition but they're an awful lot better than the yeah. vast majority of riders I think people tend to start at pretty high standards and just yeah. myself included I get more and more tired as it goes on and yeah, yeah if, um, if I do tend to win a round at the end of the tour series it's usually because I've just been in the right place at the right time rather than yeah. done anything with my legs and what are your goals for this year being as this year is pre-olympic yet we'll have to sit down and have a discussion i genuinely don't know right now larry right. This, uh, yeah, it's been used to me so 
Because I know in, in, in Olympic year, you do like to limit yeah. how much you do. Yeah. Pre I mean, this year, I want to do as many rounds as I reasonably can. Mm. Wonderful if I don't have to do Durham. <laughs> 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 but, um, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to do um, at least the rounds I can be competitive at. Um, yeah. We'll just see, you know, if it means uh, I'm playing a supporting role and we're trying to get individual uh, mm. wins for Scott, great, bring it on. Yeah. If we're trying to like place as many rides as we can in the top 10, mm. I'm also game for that. You know, I like crits and I like crit yeah, racing yeah. and yeah, to me it doesn't really matter what the tactics are, I'll, I'll still enjoy it. And, mm. Yeah, you know, from a selfish point of view, if, uh, if we can beat Moldy by the end of the year, mm. spot on. <laughs> <laughs> One final question. I know when Condor introduced the disc brake bikes, that was a year ago or two years ago? Motherwell, yeah, it was, um, I think it was last year. At Motherwell we rocked them out for the first time and um, Matt Gibson had his mm. first win straight away on them, yeah. yeah, yeah. What is the difference between riding a, a rim brake bike and a disc brake bike in a crit? Uh, I mean, in terms of like how the brakes perform, they, they're they just a better brake, aren't they? Mm. Um, it's a proper machined braking surface. Um, the modulation of power is better, they're less affected by weather, temperature, um, they're a better brake, there's no doubt about it. I mean, yeah. you know, if you're going to use a, a rim brake or a, a disc brake for a hilltop finish in the Tour de France, yeah. you know, it'd be a different um, thing. But in terms of crits, you know, especially when the weather's a bit hit and miss, how it's looking right now, yeah. I don't know, it, I wouldn't say it makes doesn't make your braking distances any shorter because at the end of the day as long as you've got rim brakes that are working mm. well there's nothing stopping you like sticking on the front wheel from whatever 60 mile an hour to zero multiple times oh, all right all right there's no you, 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 right bloody better modulation better feel yeah yeah